hi guys and welcome back to another video so i know that it's been a couple of weeks that i haven't uploaded anything um that's mainly because i have been trying to recover from covid yeah um my whole household has ended up with covid my parents are still recovering i'm feeling so much better i've got no makeup on for the simple reason my skin feels so gritty and horrible that i don't really want to waste makeup on my skin when i think it's gonna just flake everywhere um i am doing some skincare to try and get that back but yes um so i thought i'd just explain to you where i've been um i am feeling so much better and yeah i thought i would film a little what i got in black friday sal um so yeah i haven't got the prices for every single item for the simple reason they're in the black friday sale and some of the stuff's from asos and you can only find out the prices online but because obviously we're now past black friday it's all sold out and the sale's not on anymore um i've opened all the parcels like all the bags so they're like opened like this the only one i haven't is one i got from hype but i'll explain about that in a, in a minute so the one thing this one thing here that i did get is not from black friday but i wanted to just add it in and show you because i did get it recently um and i just wanted to show you and i know the price of this one so i'm going to start with this one and then i'll go into black friday sale of everything else that i got from all the different shops and i'll tell you where they're from so this let's start with this one so this one here is from skinny dip now soph um who does sophie does vlogs sophie does nails um on youtube she has her own collection with skinny dip um so i picked this up this is her new collection this is her third line um it's her third collection all her stuff is absolutely freaking amazing i mean i've got some of her necklaces from her first line i think it was or it might have been her second i'm not too sure which one it was um but she's got so many new things out um she's got a lot of clothing this time which i absolutely loved every single piece and i struggled to pick a certain piece that i preferred um but i didn't want to get a whole she does she's that she does tracksuits and she does the t-shirts match tracksuits and i do not want to get the whole lot because it's it it will be too expensive to do that basically and i couldn't warrant paying that much for the simple reason i probably wouldn't wear it all um whereas this one one piece i know i'm definitely gonna wear quite a lot so if i just get this out so i picked up this navy blue tie-dye i don't know if it's gonna pick up a tie-dye um i don't know what neck this is called but it comes up your neck slightly it's not a full roll neck and it's not a, is it turtleneck i don't know let me know in the comments what it is um so it's just this navy blue tie-dye jumper with little cuff sleeves but it's got the sun and moons all on it at the front there I just loved it. I thought it was super cute. And it's supposed to be cropped, but it's not going to be cropped on me. And um, what it feels such good quality, I'm not going to lie. I got this in medium um because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. But it's got, I don't know if my camera's going to pick that up. I don't know if you can see that. It's like fur lined, not furred, like fleecy lined don't know whether you can see that on my camera or whether it's picking up but it's all soft and and cozy and it's not too thick but it's it's definitely one of those pieces that's going to keep me warm so i just imagine this with a few things like mum jeans and some trainers or my gray primark joggers when I just want something to just chuck on and be nice and cosy around the house. 
so yeah i'm so happy with this i cannot wait to wear this oh and this zip it does undo so you can just wear it open or you can wear it done up it's up to you whatever you want to do um which i really like because sometimes you get the zip and it's fake and i'm like well what's the point of that do you know what i mean so yeah so i just picked this up it's got her little logo in the um label there so it's just got Sophie's collection i don't know whether that's going to focus no um but yeah so i picked this up this was 32 pounds so it's on the pricey side but it does feel like it's really really good quality um so i cannot wait to be wearing this right so that's the first piece i got the second piece i got i'm going to show you this one next because it's just here um is from another youtuber um called G gabby or gabrielle if you <laughs> um she's on youtube she's velvet ghost um she's just started her own business called jupiter moon and she started doing these oh my god i nearly dropped it started doing these fantastic little prints um so i picked up a print in black friday because she was doing two pounds off every black eh, two pounds off every black friday no two pounds off every print and i've recently you can't see thank god because it's a mess but i've recently taken down my um shelf that was here on this back wall here and i'm going to put loads of prints up so you will see loads of prints in this haul because i've just gone mad on them and um, but i see this one and i really like this one this is a little card that it comes with so she's just kindly put in this little card and it says you're blooming lovely blooming not blooming um and it just says thank you for shopping with us and supporting a small business this thank you card can double double as an extra little print to re reduce waste your you'd love to see we'd love to see your photos make sure you tag us on at shop jupiter moon on instagram and twitter um so yeah and that there is her little website if you want to go and have a little little look little looky so this was the print I picked up. I There was loads of prints on there that I was a bit like, oh, I like that one, and I like that one. But I couldn't decide. But in the end, I went for this one. And it's just this. I don't know if you're going to pick it up because of the, the lighting. But it's just this girl holding two pot plants. And one's a cactus. Um, is the other one a cactus? No. Um, one's a cactus. And, and I don't know why, but... I've been obsessed with cactuses lately. I can't keep a cactus alive to save me, but I've just been obsessed with cactuses. So when I see this, I was like, I love this. So I'm going to put this. I was thinking, I don't know if you can see, but I've got my little frame here. And I was thinking of putting that inside that frame. But I don't know whether the frame is going to go with the picture. Um, so... I'm not sure on that one. I'll have a look and see what I think, and we'll go from there. Um, next place I went was ASOS. So, in here, these are the ones I don't know what the prices are, um, but I can tell you roughly how much I think they were. So, first thing I got, I needed some new slippers, and... My friend Charlotte decided to tell me that they had slippers on ASOS that I was looking for and I was like, oh my god, I need them. So I got these, but of course when you, you look for one thing, you then end up looking for more and I ended up buying some more stuff. But I picked up these slippers. Now the brand is Skinny Dip, so they are originally Skinny Dip. There. They're just these fluffy platform slippers. They're super comfy. They've got red hearts on and pink and i think that color tra <laughs> the color palette of this is amazing they're 
they're a bit dirty on the sole but I wanted to just show you the thickness of the sole um, because I have been wearing these already and because basically I just couldn't wait and I need the slippers so yeah these are amazing I've, they're really soft as well they're like soft inside as well and they just keep my feet nice and toasty and I just love these these are the first slippers that I've actually loved to just keep wearing because I tend to buy slippers and then just not bother wearing them so I picked those up I think they were about I think they were about like £16 I think not too sure I'm sorry I can't give you more accurate prices guys um, so next thing I got was by my accessorise London um, and I basically when I drive my car in the winter and it's freezing cold I want to wear gloves but fa um, like fabric gloves and cotton gloves and that tend to not allow me to grip the wheel the steering wheel so I picked these up because they're like leather and they're cute and they actually fit me for once because sometimes leather gloves are too big I end up with like a bit at the end there like bagging over but these are perfect you've got your little phone like touchy thing so you can use your, your phone but look how cute that is so it's got a little studded bow and there's just like these leather leather gloves and they're all like nicely fur not fur like got a nice soft lining I don't know if you can even see that because it's black and my camera goes funny when it's black. Um, but I got these in a small to medium. Um, and they just, I just love these. They're just like, they look really cute. And I just think these are going to be a staple for a winter outfit. Like, they're just going to make an outfit. So, and they're practical. So I got those. Oh, let me move my print over there so it doesn't get damaged. And then the last thing that I picked up from ASOS was these trousers. So, I see these and I've always wanted lilac trousers. Um, I don't know, I just always wanted lilac trousers and pink trousers. I've got some pink trousers and I've never picked up a lilac pair, but these are uh, ASOS's own brand in petite and you know, I got these in a size 12 and I got these lilac trousers are they showing up pink? they're showing up more pink on camera they're lilac I don't know why they're showing up pink so they've just got this elasticated waistband which is just perfect like absolutely perfect not gonna lie and then they're just like these smart trousers they've got like the seam not seam like the line that goes down there like um what most smart trousers have i can't think of what it's called and then it's got the little split at the front um and where these are petite these are gonna fit so nice and be the right length and i won't need to worry about trying to turn them up or anything like that um and these i just imagine these with like a chunky white knit jumper on top some my dot martins or some ankle boots so yeah i can't wait to wear these i don't know how much these roughly were but they wasn't that much i think they were like 10 pounds or something like that in the south so i i grabbed them there was only a couple left as well so i grabbed these i can't wait to wear these and these are such a nice material as well um like a stretchy material but not so stretchy it's gonna like stretch out and be too big but you know what i'm trying to say right <laughs> i hope so guys right let's move on where is this from right in here we have a little order from under under armor 
so I picked up, I'm going to Florida in May and I'm saying I'm going because I'm not having it cancelled again, end of. Um, and I wanted some nice little shorts, so I picked these shorts up. Let me take them out of the bag. Where's the, the, the opening? No, there's no opening, okay. I'm just gonna look. I picked these up, now these were, I don't have the price on, so that's great. Um, do these have the price on these bits? No, fantastic. I think these were about ten pounds. Yeah, I've got a feeling they're about ten pounds each. Um, and they're just these really nice shorts. So obviously you've got like the the waistband with the company name on them. They're like a baby pink with a with an orange at the bottom. The material of these guys are so nice. They're super soft. Oh my God, they've got pockets. They've got pockets. That is amazing. These are super soft. I cannot wait to wear these. I just wanted something that I'd be comfortable in. So I got these. So here's the waistband. They're elasticated. You've got, and they just come down like that. You've got the little logo down there. I just love the color contrast of these. Um, and that they feel so nice and soft um, like they're going to be cool as well to, to wear so I picked that pair up and I also picked them up in this mint colour um, I did want them in black but they didn't have black in my size so I picked up the pink and the mint but I actually really do like these. So I'm probably going to end up getting some more before I go. Not going to lie. Um, I just think these are going to be so comfortable to wear. Especially when I'm walking around the park all day. I'm going to want something that I'm comfortable in. Um, and just want to wear them. You know. I don't want to be wearing like tough jean shorts. So these two are going to be amazing. And I just love the colour colours of them. Like the colours go really well, so can't wait to wear those. Then we have Shield. So let's get these out. Let me just get it all out first because it's easier for me to show when it's all out the bag. I don't remember how much these are because again Shion does not show you the prices or tell you the prices. So um first thing I picked up was these doggy poop bags and a little poop bag holder. Mainly because every single time I take Sash out oh my bag's gone on the floor. Every time time I take Sash out I'm trying to like put poop bags in my pockets and things and it's just a nightmare. So this I think it was quite good because then she can you can hook onto her lead. Wait, I'm gonna shut it in. So like little doggy poo bags in pink. Because who doesn't want pink poo bags? You know. And this just literally you've already got one sitting there, but like it literally just hooks on to her lead um and then obviously you'll poke the poo bag through and then you can just pull them off um i just thought it was something practical and yeah i needed them basically so and i think it was only like a pound or something so it wasn't even that expensive um oh, let's do these ones then because these were falling out so i also picked these up now i'm not too keen on these now i've seen them but I pick these up. I might give these to my friend. Um, but I pick these these up. Now these are just some leopard print earrings. Um, they're like a goldy colour with leopard print on. These are only a couple of quid. Um, and I just thought they might look quite nice in. But I don't know. I don't know if I like them or not. Um, and obviously you get two there. They're just in a pack like that um 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. So don't know about that. Ah. Oh. Next thing I picked up was this little necklace. So it's a French bulldog necklace in gold. Um and I just literally picked this up as a little stocking filler basically. Um because I thought it was cute and yeah, there's not much to say about it. Like, if you know me, you know I love French Bulldogs. So if it was a French Bulldog card, I'm going to pick it up. Now, this, I thought was a really genius idea. And it's probably... I'm probably late to the, the party on this. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably like, really late to it. But this is a little... Oh, it's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. It's a little bag that you put your... You can put different bits and pieces in. So, like, your socks or... What I'm going to use it for is my cotton pads. So I've got reusable cotton pads that every time I put in the washing machine, they're an absolute pain because they go everywhere and they end up, I end up basically losing them. So literally, you can just pop them in there like that, zip them up, chuck this in the wash, and they're all stayed together then, and they've washed and they're clean. So I picked this one up because it's got little, little hearts and stars on um, and I just thought this was like really cute but I thought it was like this, I thought basically it was going to be this big, I thought it was going to be tiny but it's not so that's a bonus so I really do like this, this was only like a pound, a couple of quid if that, um, so I picked those up. Now I picked these up and I can't remember why I picked these up but I picked these up for some reason so Oh, I know why I picked this one up. This has got plastic in there, which I don't really, really know why that's in there. Um, so this is a little... Oh, my God. Right, this here is a little brush thing that you can use to wipe out your keyboard. So I basically got it for my laptop so I can wipe out all the crumbs and stuff because I am that person who will eat her lunch over the laptop. So then I get like crumbs and things in the keyboard. So I thought I'll get one of these to just, you know, clean out the keyboard. But it also comes with like a little, little pan. So you've got your brush and then you've got your little pan. Which I think that that's super cute. I need to work out how to put that back in like that. So I just picked that up just to clean out my keyboard basically. And then I picked this one up. But I don't really know why I picked this one up. But I picked this one up as well. Um, and this one is... I can't even undo the bag. This one is slightly different. Because this one's... Oh, I know what I've got this one for. The car. The car. So, you've got your little brush there, and then you've got your little um, fabric wipe. So, with the air vents, you can wipe out, dust out your car and stuff. Um, so, I've just picked these up, basically, for that purpose. And I just think they're practical, and they're going to come in handy. I mean, I'm going to try and put this back in the bag. I might do it off. Put it after? Yeah. Cause that's not going to work, is it? Okay, and the, oh. oh no, I didn't show you these bits. Duh, what am I doing? Right, so the next bit I got were these earrings. Now these are actually sort of stocking filler for my mum. If I can even get them out of the bag. Right, so they're a lot smaller than what I thought they were going to be. I don't understand. Oh, I get it, I get it. Hold on, bear with me guys, I just need to try and try and open the bag. Now I can't open. Right, so I picked these up for my mum. So let me pop that in. What? That's confusing me. Oh there you go. So, it's just this. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that because it is so tiny. 
it is just this um angel wing earring can you see that i don't know it's not even focusing is it there you go little angel ring angel wing earring so obviously you get two in a set um but i just picked these up because i thought they were super cute and she loves angel wings um so i just picked those up for her again only a couple quid and they're just a uh, little stocking filler um i'm gonna put them in a little jewelry box obviously before i give them to her i'm not just gonna give them to her in the paper bag <clears throat> so i picked those up now the next things are prints now like i said i have gone a bit mad on prints because well i want to decorate that wall and i couldn't decide and they were all a pound so i was like i'm just gonna get them like who cares i'll just get them so let's have a look at this one. Oh, mate they've stuck little tape on them and i can't pick it off here you go I know it's to help it stay in its shape. Right, so this is the first one. I really like the, the way that these actually feel. Like, they're not just like paper. They're like... I don't even know what material this is. But I just got this one. And it says, life is fantastic. So you, it's like that. I don't know if you can see that properly. I just really like the colours and how abstract it was. And just... I just really like that um, and I thought that would look really nice in a frame on my wall um, so I picked that one up I'm going to get um, some frames for these I'm going to look in um, Home Bargain and B&M and Wilkinson's um, but, but I didn't get frames to go with these yet yeah, for the simple reason I wasn't sure what size they would be because you know sometimes they say that things are going to be like a4 or a a3 and you get them and they're slightly smaller or slightly bigger than what they said they were going to be so i didn't want to get a frame and find out it's too big and small or too big um so i picked that one up i then picked this one here up you're gonna have to bear with me with pulling the tape off guys it's just now, this one, I quite liked. Um, this one says, I'll get over it. I just need to be dramatic first, which is all me. If you know me, you know this is so true. And it's like a little elephant. And it's just pastel pink. Um, and I just really super liked it. And just thought, it's me to a T. Like, I need to be dramatic first, and then I will get over it. I literally will. Um, so yeah, and I like the fact it's like a little elephant as well, and the colours are pastel pink. And now you know me. If you know me, you know I like pastel pink. Pastel pink is my favourite colour. As I drop the thing, I'm putting them all back in the bag so that they all stay nice and somewhat protected, just while. Just whilst I um, whilst I get get a frame basically. Um, so this one here, dun, 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 is what are you? This says a smile is the prettiest. Oh, goodness! A smile is the prettiest thing you can wear, which I just thought so apt. And it's just this monochrome, so black and white. Um basic print with text text on um just it's like basic but it's true because the prettiest thing anyone can wear is a smile so yeah so i just really like that one so that's that one two more guys two more oh 
and on my other parcels are falling. So rudely, my camera just cut out. So I don't know where I got up to, but the next print is this one and it just says you don't have to be anything other than yourself and it's just these bright coloured coloured fonts um, and I just loved it. I love the saying of it and I love the font. Um, I just loved everything about it. And I just think when these prints are put in a frame they're going to look amazing. They're going to look really nice. Um, so, let me put this one back in. And then the last print I got, guys. Is this one here. Which... Bum, 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 bum. Ah, yeah. It's just this monochrome black and white skull with um, floral detailing around it. And it's just, basically, I love skulls. Um, and I love the whole black and white theme with, with skulls and flowers and everything like that. And this, this one here kind of matches my tattoo that I have. So when I see it, I was like, oh my God, I need to get that one. So that's going to look really nice just in a little frame and I also thought that as well that these prints that even though I bought them to go up on my wall here that when I eventually move out of my parents house and you know get my own place that they are still going to look okay on any other wall in a house so they're going to look nice wherever they are so that was my thinking. So that's everything I've got in Shion. Now, this one here from Hype. Da, 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 da. So, from Hype, they was doing this thing where I want to get a backpack for when I go to Florida um, for the parks and things. So the, I looked on Hype and Hype had these loads of Disney backpacks and I couldn't decide which I wanted. And basically, they also had this thing where they had backpacks like $14.99 or they were doing this lucky dip. So you got two backpacks for £20. When the backpacks range, normally, without being in the sale, £60 each. So I was like... Well, if I was going to buy one for £14, why don't I get two for 20 And then I can decide which one I want to use. And if I don't like like one of them or whatever, I can either gift it to someone or I can sell it on. So, this I didn't open this bag for the simple reason. I didn't want to see the bags that were inside because I wanted to do it with you guys. So, this is going to be my first reaction to seeing what, what bags I got. And I can't wait. So they look, they feel like they're going to be quite big bags. I can't even open it, guys. Right. So this is the first one. I'm closing my eyes. quite like this one I'm not gonna lie so it comes first off it comes in this like little resealable bag and like this with a high logo on so this bag oh, is quite big but it's pink it's pink I love pink so if I can just I need to Oh my god, I actually really like this. It's like army print. You've got like, it's like army print, but pink army print. I like this. I really do like this one. Mm. Right, it's got these really nice um, sip bits. I don't know what this bit's called for the sip. Sip holder? I don't know. 
and it's, it's quite big, quite it's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. So, if we open this, we can see the inside, maybe I can push it out a bit so we can see the whole. There we go, guys. So, it's got this massive space on the inside. You've got your Hype logo there, you've got your little front pocket. And obviously you've got your adjustable straps. Yeah, I like this one. I'm not going to lie. I do like this one. This one is a bit of me. Yeah. So I've got that one. And what is this one? Oh, I like this one too. This one's got... A... This one has got a little... Um... Pom pom. Right, so this is the other bag that I got. I do like this one as well. I like both. So I'm going to be like, I don't know what bag to use, throw it up. But look, it's got little pom pom. Fluffy pom pom. Well, I like that. I do like that. And I think this, will, this one will go with more of my, like, it will go with these. We'll also go with these ones. Um, yeah. I'm really impressed with this. I mean, I think the pom-pom needs to um, be a bit more not squished, shall we say. But I am impressed. I'm really impressed with this. I mean, I'm a bit disappointed they're not Disney, not going to lie. But I think for the... the the two bags that they are, they are good quality and they are, they're going to do their job in Florida, like no matter what, so, and they're both a, a bit of me, so, yeah, I love it, I love it, that was a good, good choice for me to do the, um, the lucky dip, I like that, not going to lie. Hmm. I like the fact this one's got a little extra, like the little pom-pom. <laughs> so yeah. So that guys is everything I got in the Black Friday sale. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!